what's up guys so welcome back to my channel as you read by the title today i'm going to be showing you guys a butterfly lock tutorial and i did mine by the length so first i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the products that i'm going to be using today so i'm going to be using the shining jam conditioning gel extra hole with the yellow top i'm also going to be using style factor edge booster it doesn't really matter what scent you get but this is pineapple i'm going to be using some clips some bows you're gonna need a crochet needle. You don't necessarily need a jumbo one. You just need the regular size one. You're gonna need a rat tail comb to part your hair. You're going to need a detangling comb to detangle your hair. I also used an edge brush for my edges. And then for the hair, I'm going to be using the Free Trust Water Wave in the colors 4 and 27. I did use five packs of the color 4 and one pack of the color 27. And this is the Free Trust Bray Crochet and Latch Hook Water Wave 22 inches. So this is what it looks like. I'll give you a more clear picture on the screen. So once again, five packs in one pack. And I didn't even use the full fifth pack. I only used <clears throat> about three strands of hair out of here. So yeah, that's the products I use. So I am starting off on blow dried hair and I did a detailed video on how I actually sectioned my hair off, parted it, and also how I braided my hair. So you need to check that out, which is in the description box below. And it will also be on the screen here, but it's going to be in the description box below. But I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys, right now I'm just straightening up my part in the middle. And I'm doing that with a rat tail comb and shining jam. And there was a total of five rows in the back and there's gonna be four rows on each side in the front and I did a total of 41 braids so that'll be 41 butterfly locks and I did 21 of those braids in the back and 20 in the front so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys even if you didn't check out my last video that the first thing you want to do when you're parting your hair in the front especially you want to go ahead and split up each side in the front so you want to have a side on the right a side on the left and then you're going to split those sections in half and then once you split it in half you're going to split up those two halves into two rows so that you can get your total of four rows and how you're going to do that is you're going to be putting shine and jam like i did on my part and using a rat tail comb to just comb that in and it'll make the part super super straight and super super like neat it'll look really really nice so Make sure you take your time also on this part because it may take you a long time to get your part straight and make sure there's no hairs overlapping, but it's very beneficial in the end because it'll make your hair look really, really clean, neat, and it'll look like someone professional did it. So just take your time on this part and the rest of this is also going to be sped up. But once again, check out that video I did where I showed you guys a detailed tutorial on how to braid your hair and how I sectioned and also how I cut it, which is linked below. So I forgot to mention every time you finish a row, you want to secure it with a rubber band or a scrunchie. Do not use these type of rubber bands. This is all I had, so I had to use it. And I did this on the other side in the front. So you're going to have four rows on each side in the front, five rows in the back. And now I'm going to show you guys like a brief kind of tutorial of how to actually get your hair braided and sectioned off in the front. So the first thing you want to do is do that same technique of shine and jam in a rat tail comb to make them really, really sleek and really, really straight. Now, if you don't know how to braid, this stuff might be a little bit hard. I've seen some people do twists instead of braid but i'm not really sure if that's the best method but if you guys don't know how to braid check out my tutorial link below because i did um kind of explain how i'm braiding for those that don't know how to braid and i also want to mention to you guys that in the back i did four braids on that bottom row five on that next row five on that next row four on that next row and then three on the very top row in the back for a total of 21 braids and here in the front i did 20 braids so 21 in the back 20 in the front just so that you guys can really get a visual of how many braids i did on each part of my head and once i finish the braids in the front you're going to see how it actually looks in the back and the front A 
a lot of people say you don't have to braid to the end but i like to braid to the end because i don't want any of my hair sticking out so this is what the parts look like in the back and this is what all of the parts look like in the front so now we're going to get started on our butterfly locks so i did finish most of my butterfly locks off camera but i do have three on the top left to do So since I did the colors 27 and 4 throughout my head, in this section I'm going to be doing two color 4s and one color 27. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of separate my hair and prep it for the butterfly lock so the part where I'm wrapping it around my braid goes by faster. So when you're separating the hair, what you want to do is you want to run your fingers through the strand of hair and you're going to be using two strands of hair for each butterfly lock. So with the forehair, it's a lot easier to separate it. You're just going to run your fingers through it and then separate it into two. And you're going to do that with both pieces. But with the 27 hair, honestly, it gets a bit tangled. So you definitely want to keep that in mind because even with the like running your fingers through but not necessarily like through aggressively it still gets tangled i don't know what's up with the 27 color but the four color is a lot easier to separate but it's still the same method with 27 and four So once you finish separating all of your hair, it's time to get it prepped to put onto the latch hook to go through your braid. So you do not need to pull all of the hair through your braid. That's just extra work. So just pull out that small piece like I had and you're going to put the latch hook through your braid first and then twist the hair at the little middle just to make it easier. Put it onto the latch hook and pull through. So once it's pulled through, you're going to have a little piece on one side and the other piece on the other side now the shorter piece should be the piece that you have paired up with your braid and it should be the same length as your braid like don't make it longer make it shorter if need be because you need all of the hair you can get to wrap around okay so you're gonna start by grabbing that long piece of hair and wrapping it around your root I honestly wrapped that long piece of hair around my root probably three to five times because I wanted it really, really secure. After you finish wrapping around the root a couple of times, you're going to go ahead and start wrapping downwards and it can be really loose because this style is supposed to be messy but i'm now going to tell you guys how you get the loops to make the butterfly effect for your butterfly locks So when you're making a loop for your butterfly lock, some people use their index finger, their thumb, but honestly, you can use whatever finger is available and easiest for you. It does not matter which way you wrap your hair also, but what you're going to do is when you're wrapping, you're going to put your thumb, index finger, pinky, whatever you need in place of where you're wrapping. You're then going to hold that piece of hair out. I don't know if that makes sense but just watch what I'm doing and you're then going to wrap around the top of that loop two times before you take out your finger from the loop and you're then going to wrap around the bottom of the loop once and then continue to wrap like normal until you get to your next loop for your butterfly effect but I'm going to explain this to you guys one more time when I get on the next butterfly lock but that is how I did it on this lock and every single lock in my head the putting your finger or thumb to make the loops doesn't work I've seen a lot of people just use the crochet hook to kind of pull out hair and create loops so once you get to the end of that butterfly lock whichever way you were twisting you're just going to kind of like twist it like you're doing a bantu knot in that direction you're then going to twist 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 till you get to the end and this is once you get it to the length that you want and since mine are bob length this is the length i want you're going to twist it in that direction you're then going to flip it up 
wrap around that bottom base a couple times before you just wrap the rest up use your got to be glue spray to secure it and then palm roll it in your hands and it should be very very secure because this hair it don't move So I'm now going to tell you guys how to do it one more time with the color 27. So you're going to get your hair, you're going to take it to the end, you're going to put your latch hook through your braid, and then you're then going to latch on the hair. You're going to have a short piece, make it the same length as your natural hair braid, and then you're going to have a long piece. Wrap around that root at least, at least four or five times because I'm telling y'all it will get loose if you don't do it but you see how I pulled it through yeah that's how you pull it through don't have no snag hairs so wrap around that base four or five times continue to wrap down loosely and I mean loosely when you wrap down but I will say with the color 27 you really got to make sure that there's no color of your natural hair showing if your natural hair is like dark like mine because then it's gonna look a little weird i had a few spots where you could see it but it's cool so now i'm gonna tell you guys how to get the butterfly loop one more time okay so y'all see i just grabbed this piece of hair with my thumb and i've kind of secured it so now i'm going to wrap above that loop two times and then i'm going to wrap below that loop one time and then continue to wrap loosely down the rest of this part of hair but remember with 27 you don't want to go too too loose because you might see your natural hair and you don't want that but every time you get a loop wrap on top of it two times to secure the loop and wrap one time underneath and honestly you can do as many loops as you want it doesn't really matter if the loops aren't big enough for you you can try and pull it and it'll make it a little bit bigger do what you need to do to make the loops look how you want but there's really no way you can mess up this style because this style is supposed to be a messy kind of style so whatever you do it's gonna look cute So here I am at the end of the lock and I'm just twisting it in that direction like I twist a band two knot. I'm then going to put my index finger right there and I'm just going to flip it and start twisting the opposite direction. You can remove your finger after you've wrapped at the bottom at least two times. Then just wrap up and palm roll the ends and use your got to be glue to secure it. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my edges with this edge booster and I'm taking my edge brush to actually lay down my edges. I will be posting a butterfly lock styles video to show you guys the different styles you can do with butterfly locks. So make sure you hit your post notification bell so that you can be notified about that in the next week. And also, I just want to go ahead and answer some general questions that I usually get under these type of style videos. This style took me about six hours. I used five packs of hair. The hair was about six dollars at my beauty supply store. And once again, I did do 41 locks. Go ahead and read my description. If you need any help with the beginning, go ahead and watch my last video where I explained in detail how to part and braid your hair but that's gonna wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the bell to stay notified and i will see you guys next time bye guys